So, today I was on EA Origin, and I know what you're thinking. Q, you were on EA Origin, but that platform kind of sucks, especially compared to Steam. Well, yeah, it does. But, if you watched my previous video, you'll know why I was on EA Origin. The long and short of it was I got a free game, and, you know, I have to use EA Origin in order to play that game. Now, while I was on EA Origin, I saw this thing up there that really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Oh my god, I can't wait to tell you guys about this. Have you ever heard of Bioware Points? Yes, Bioware Points. Fucking Bioware Points. I clicked on a link that basically said Bioware Points, and I was like, what the fuck is this? So I, I went and followed it in the description of the page of the Bioware Points, so-called, and I saw that they are charging $20 for 800 Bioware Points. Fucking Bioware points. As in, you can only use those points in Bioware games that includes Mass Effect, Dragon Age, any shit like that. Maybe Star Wars The Old Republic, I'm not sure. But, it, it just, it seems fucking shady as hell, really. It seems really shady. Because when you have your own form of currency that you charge your customers real money for, that just makes me think that you're kind of a scummy developer. And I understand, that's a culture that we live in nowadays. We live in an age of microtransactions and bullshit. And you know, a lot of gamers, they get really mad about this whole this whole focus on microtransactions, especially in AAA games, which I don't believe there should be microtransactions in AAA games. But we give shit to microtransactions and all that shit because it seems like a good way to scam a person out of a lot of money. And you know what? The reason microtransactions are still around is because, yes, it is a good way to scam a lot of people out of a lot of money. There was a guy a few weeks ago who spent a million dollars on Game of War Fire Age. You know that Kate Upton game where she played Athena? That game sucks, and yet he played that game and paid a million dollars in real life money in order to get bonus items in order to advance further in order to basically get himself boosted in the game. And you know what's funny about that? That guy stole a million dollars in order to do it. People, they'll spend thousands and thousands of dollars of their own money on microtransactions. It's, it's, it's bullshit. It's just bullshit. And I really don't like microtransactions that much. Sometimes I might buy a couple of things but, you know, I haven't paid for any microtransaction in quite a while, going on a year now, because it's just bullshit. And if there's a game that threatens to make me wait 24 hours in order for my upgrade to come through, then I just won't play that game, because there are plenty of other free-to-play games, plenty of paid games that I have access to, plenty of other options other than sitting on your stupid fucking shitty game and having to wait five hours... 12 hours, 24 hours, just to build a fucking house. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I have my PlayStation Vita. I can just play Persona 4 or some shit like that. It's way more fun, and it doesn't charge me any extra money. And seriously, EA, for real, you're going to introduce your own proprietary currency, in-game currency, just so you can try and squeeze more money out of your customers? There's a reason Microsoft switched to using cash payments instead of Microsoft points because Microsoft points fucking sucked and people wanted to be able to use their own money instead of having to buy packs of points. Do you realize how stupid that is? Because if I want an in-game item and it costs $5, your 800 point Bioware point pack costs $10, but you can pay with it in cash or in Bioware points. I spent $10, right? on 800 Bioware points on an item that I could have gotten for $5. But it costs 600 Bioware points. It's not even half the amount of Bioware points. If I wanted to buy that $5 item, I spent $10 on Bioware points. I should be able to get that shit for half the Bioware points that I bought, which is 400 damn points. Instead, you sell it to me for 600 points. Now, this isn't a real scenario. This is something I've totally fabricated, but you have to admit that it's entirely possible. When these video game companies treat their consumers like they're fucking idiots and that they're going to do anything that they say and that they can prepackage something, they can wrap it up, tie it in a little bow, and we still won't be able to tell that it's fucking gift-wrapped shit, basically. They think we can't tell, but 
EA, I have a message for you. I can see straight through your bullshit. There's a reason you won Worst Company twice in a row. With that being said, I'm Q from Q Talky. You can follow me on social, Instagram, Twitter. I'm not famous enough to do a Facebook fan page. But if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll put those links in the description down below. I'll also put them on the right side of the screen right here. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video and listening to me rant about EA, Bioware Points, and Microtransactions. If you have a penny to drop in the bucket, then I would love for you to put your opinion down in the comments section below. With that being said, have a great day.